It's time to honor the Ooze because he has paved the way in the Ultimate Edition lineup. Now, as you guys know, we already took a look at Paul Heyman about a month ago. The Usos we're going to get into, but I think at the end of the day, I think ultimately everybody came here to honor the Tribal Chief in Ultimate Edition. Let's check out the promo look, buddy. Yeah! It's game day, buddy. It's third and one. You're in the goal line. So what do we have to accomplish? We need a damn touchdown. Roman Reigns, he's been almost a touchdown in this series. But ultimately, you guys, we haven't seen him converted in ultimate. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for the last month or so, you guys damn well know what we've been working on here. And you will also know that Paul Heyman kind of brought the whole into fruition into play with this series. I mean, as you guys know, the Usos had already the white gear, so we needed Paul Heyman in the white gear, which could only mean one thing, and that is Roman Reigns also in the white gear. So here's the whole gist and what we have to do and what's going to happen all in this video. So stay tuned to the end of the video. And also, drop a like if you guys can't wait to see Mattel bring their own version of the white gear for the big dog, right? I mean, we need the matchy matches. I feel like this right here is already given. And if you haven't been at Target lately, this figure is being clearanced out, which is the, what is it, the brother love figure with a little head swapping and additional pieces. Mwah! I love it. I think this is perfect, but let's talk about Roman Reigns, right? So the belt, this has been taken care of. The current look, this is something that I already need to play out. So the fact that we got it here right now in figure form, love it. That's one step closer, but at the end of the day, let's see what Roman Reigns needs to accomplish. Now, I still want to use some of the parts right here from the Ultimate Edition figure. We're still going to use the upper half because obviously this is the only Roman Reigns figure that we have seen in the Ultimate Edition series that has gotten the UE Butterfly treatment. There is one following, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Once that does come through, you already know we got stuff in the works, but yes, we need the upper half and... We also need Jay Uso. And why am I going to use Jay? Two reasons. One, I think it's perfect, bro. I think the whole factor that this man had turned on him, he's like, oh, you want to turn on me? So guess what I'm going to do, buddy? I'm going to turn on you. I'm going to jack your pants, and I'm going to go ahead, fall in the category right there with all the white look for the lower extremity. So I want the lower half. We're going to have to torso crack the elite. We're going to have to torso crack the ultimate edition. And these black pants, as good as they've been working, bro, this needs the upgrade, bro. I think this would be a beautiful thing if 2024 was actually a thing where he either A, brought red style of pants right here for his actual in-ring gear, or B, some solid white as to what we're going to see in this video. So definitely, you guys, drop a like if that's something you guys want to see. So we're going to go ahead and address that right now. One thing that I wanted to talk about, though, is these damn Usies, bro. Look at these freshy all white. I love it, man. I feel like the completion, once we get Roman Reigns done right here in the video, bringing these two together with the mixed love of the most recent Ultimate Edition. Oh, yeah. This thing is going to be pure beautiness in its own right. Really the only character that we'll need in the all white. Elite Collector 215, you know what the hell I'm talking about, bro. And it's your boy right here, Solo Siko. Matter of fact, he already done it, so definitely and go check out his page because that looked beautiful. I feel like this is definitely in the works. And if you guys also want to see Solo Sikoa in the white, you got to let us know in the comments, bro. Drop a like if Solo Sikoa also needs the all-white gear treatment. All that being said, you guys, now that we've covered the Usos, now that we've covered Paul Heyman, we need to take a look at the Tribal Chief in the freshy white with the additional belt, with the interchanging scans. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and bring it together. Superman Punch! Just like that, you know that the spear comes following, man. Superman Punch always lays me out. So I feel like the Tribal Chief needs to raise me up right here with a future potential Ultimate Edition promo Roman Reigns. Man, this is why you guys drop a like. So Mattel hears you. They let you know that, all right, so the WHF universe wants to see it, right? But how are we going to see it? One, obviously, updated torso. That's something that we've already talked about. Two, we need that representation of that title. Now, ideally, I would have loved to have that three-pack white shirt that came in with the Paul Hammond, but for the life of me, I couldn't find it. So what we do? 
We improvise. We still throw in the Universal Championship. We still throw in the WWE title. And then you throw in the different looks right there with the skin. And yes, the unboxing, it's got to happen. Now keep in mind, the packaging that you guys are seeing right here, it is based off Elite Series 15. So if you're wondering why the hell the man's still covered all in black, well, that's the beautiful thing about the repackaging. All that being said, let's get that opened up and see what is all good with your Tribal Chief shirt. Check belts yeah we're gonna leave them in there but this one right here this is the one that's gonna basically bring roman reigns right here into a hole as the champ as the longest reigning at least in current era champion right now of all time we'll put the little head scan to the side because i want to show you both looks man i feel like both looks are just as important and i feel like both looks are gonna benefit the whole display feature of it all because keep in mind Usually when the man throws down, it's usually with the hair up. So when we got the hair down, the guy's in fight. He's going to be throwing some action. And that's the beautiful thing about this gear. It's the fact that you can do either or. We can either do it with the shirt. We can do it without. Or we can go ahead and slap on the title right there on the man. Now, here's the big reason why I wanted to choose Jimmy for this specific look. One, obviously, the man's got to betray him, dude. He didn't do him right. But two was that the reason was for them freshy, fresh red pants. I mean, yes, we could have gone ahead and added on the actual shoes to the figure, but if they were already on the figure, why the hell are we going to fight it? I think that blends in with the whole look right there of the glove. Look at this, you guys. Backing this up, having it up, throwing it down. You guys know Tribal Chief is doing it up right here with the torso. The other thing, too, is the way it looks, you guys, like the proportion right there and the circumference of the actual waistline because at the end of the day, that was my main concern. Like, how was that going to come out? Was it still going to come together? But at the end of the day, you can see that the way that the waist comes through right here with the lower pants, I think that fits in perfectly. Now, I want to give it two different looks, as, as we did mention. This is mainly based off the promo look. So even though as good as it looks right there with the hair down, we got to see it with the hair up, man. We got to see it with the hand being thrown up because at the end of the day, that's how you honor the damn tribal chief, right? We need the fist as well. I'm telling you, all of the interchanging hands, they can all definitely happen right here within the video. But before that can happen, we need to see if Roman Reigns is going to accept the fact that this figure right here, this fix up, this custom of 2023 might be the custom, at least for Roman Reigns. That's one we're talking about, right? Yeah, that might be it right here of the year, man. We made several different on the channel, but checking this out, bro, I love this, bro. Roman Reigns, the big dog. We're going to bring all of them. Not only that, but I also want to show you a few different comparisons of how he looks like up alongside his predecessor. Because yeah, as you guys know, we've already seen Roman Reigns in Ultimate, so we got to see him alongside the new big dog, right? He's like, who let the dogs out? Oh, hold on. We let the dogs out, but we let the dogs out right just the way we wanted. All right, so here we have the actual Ultimate Edition side-by-side -side right here. The new champ, the new reigning, defending champion. So height-wise, yeah, bro. I still think that they're both pretty well on cue. And at the end of the day, we need to find out the ultimate question that you guys are going to answer in the comments right now. What look is ultimately the best, right? Are we talking about what we've done right here as together with the WHF family? Or are we going to talk about the original look that came with the actual Ultimates. Let's check this out, you guys, because I freaking love this. Look at this. Solo Sikoa is like, dude, you guys got to do me up in the freshy matchy gear, man. That's why you guys got to drop a like. That way we know if that's something you guys to be done up. Look at this. So we got all of them right here, all geared up. Hold on. We can't forget the actual man that stuck with the man. Your boy Jimmy. Don't leave him out, bro. We got to get this man in the frame. Look at this. We got Roman Reigns. Fully dressed in white. We got him in ultimate. We got your boy Paul Hammond, which I'm telling you, bro, don't be sleeping on that $6 elite. Go to Target right now. Matter of fact, they might all be gone. I mean, last I checked, they still had a good handful, but go check it out. And then we got your boy, the Usos, right there with the tag team titles. Of course, keep in mind, this is based on their prime. This over here, though, this is based off what we've seen by Mattel, right? So check this out. So the original actual figure that we got with the bloodline. We got them all in black right here. And this is what you guys are telling me in the comments. Do you guys like the man in the all black right there with the Usos? Which, I'm telling you, this looks damn good. But... 
Something about this look. I don't know. Yeah, let me know, man. <laughs> I feel like both of them are solid. Here's another question I wanted to throw out there. Because this right here, it is a beauty in its own right. And as you guys know, Paul Heyman has been doing it up for so many years. He did it up in the early days. Check this out. Now, if you guys saw my last custom video, you guys know that this Kurt Angle right here, he got the update, right? We got the whole here comes the pain look. But Charlie Haas also needed it, and so did Shelton Benjamin. So which era was Paul Heyman's best run? Are we talking about Ruthless or are we talking about current era? We've got a lot of questions in this video and this is what you're going to need to answer. So definitely long. let me know in the comments what you guys think of what Mattel is doing, what the WHF fam is doing, and then is it then, now, forever? So definitely drop a like if you guys need the rest right here to be wrapped up as a whole with the matchy matchies. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button if you are stopping by for the first time. And we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Honor the ooze, bro. Honor the damn ooze.